How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be repairing a leak on a condenser coil on a Goodman package unit. Let's do some work. All right, so our leak on this system is right here. So this looks like it was damaged from the factory because it was behind this corner panel here. So there's no way it could have been touched otherwise, but there's just a, a tiny little crack right there. So we'll just get that brazed up instead of replacing the whole coil and they should be good to go. Close this back up. Now we can pressure test. vacuum on this guy and get, get the refrigerant weight in there. How much do we need to weigh in? 62 ounces, 16 divided by 60. 60. In minutes, 1.5, I say we're in good shape. All right, so because these Goodmans have these high flow Schrader cores, you can't remove those uh, in order to get a, a fast vacuum with my normal setup. So we just go with the old school um, manifold set. It's just gonna take a little longer, but because those are high flow cores, it is helpful, but that's the way you gotta do it.
So my pressures weren't looking good. So something was off. I know I weighed in the charge perfectly. So decided to take this off and found it's all frozen up. Obviously it was low on refrigerant when we got here. I just didn't know that the indoor coil was frozen up. So got to get this thawed out and recheck everything. Should be good to go. Pop your corners. There you go. Let's see. It's looking good on this side. I really can't tell the other side, so we should be fine. All right, so that's uh, a wrap on this job. Everything went well. System is now leak free and uh, pressures are looking good. The vitals are looking good. Super heat, temperature drop, all that good stuff. Threw me for a loop there for a second because I didn't know that the indoor coil was you know, a block of ice. But once we got that thawed out, everything looked great. So if you guys like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Woo!